This is Kingdom Salmon TV. You are welcome. On this channel, we will share content of our father and mentor, Apostle Joshua Selman. As you listen, remain ever blessed. Thank you. You will never be the same. You will never be the same. You touch the Hallelujah. In one minute, let your expectations rise to heaven. Please go ahead. Jesus is here. Jesus is Lord. All over the nations, follow with hunger in your heart. Please lift your hands and pray. Everyone, everyone, lift your voice. You are lifter. This is me, oh Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Genesis 21 from verse 1 and 2. The last prayer point and we'll pray. And the Lord visited Joshua Selman as he has said. And the Lord did unto Joshua Selman as he has spoken. The Bible says Sarah conceived. You don't have to be a woman to conceive this kind of conception. There are visions. There are things you can carry. Your mind is a womb too. And bear Abraham a son even in old age. At the set time which the Lord God has spoken. Father as you have spoken do to me. As you have spoken do to me tonight. Take a paratus for the Galebala Catastrophe. Sala Sala Baracota Baba. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. I'm seeing people laughing in the spirit. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. The power of God is going to come on those people. This is very strange. But I want you to carry them and bring them out. Like an outburst of holy laughter. There is a prophecy for them. Bring them out. This is a ministry of signs and wonders. There is nothing superstitious here. It is the mighty act of God in the midst of his people. Bring them. The Bible says the shouts of joy and victory shall not depart from the tent of the righteous. Please bring them. An outburst of laughter is not something you can control. Hmm. God of heaven. These people are not, this is not just a, a, some carnal manifestation. God is establishing great victories in their lives. Hallelujah. Victoria. I'm hearing the name Victoria. Who is Victoria? I presume there may be many people with that name. But I want to speak to you now. Hold on please. Don't, don't run for yourself Where are you coming from? Huh? Mama, where are you coming from? Uh, 
from Kaduna I want to pray for you the power of God is coming on one of you here help them please please don't come out carelessly don't come out carelessly if you don't have any business coming out please there's order in the house of God in as much as these are manifestations don't worry God is going to visit you we are not wasting our time I'm hearing the name Olu Shegun Olu Shegun this is a Yoruba name Olu Shegun you are wearing a short dress a short handed dress is there someone like that Olu Shegun who is that What's your name? Olusheng. From where? From Okufe. I want to pray for you. What do you do, sir? I manage the son of my friend. I want to pray. You heard what I was teaching about lifting. This is what is going to happen to you. My friend, believe God, oh. God is the lifter of men. Hallelujah. Mama. Please lay your hand on I hope you are not embarrassed Can I talk to you I want to rebuke BP High blood pressure High blood pressure I want to rebuke it In the name of Jesus Christ Now Something is about to happen here now, Please look at me Everybody pay attention Let me explain before it happens You see The apostolic And the prophetic call if and when administered within the boundary of scripture and with spiritual intelligence outside of superstition and rubbish and nonsense when it is administered within the boundary of scripture can work wonders and you have to be flexible when you are in an apostolic and a prophetic atmosphere in as much as scripture remains the basis of all that we do the dynamics of its operation the bible says there are diversities of gifts are we together now there are diversities even of operation now i confess to you the world is watching and i want to say something before i pray there are certain gifts and manifestations that god has put upon my life that I was almost tempted to shelve them for a while until I studied through scripture or in the life of day that have gone ahead of us so that we would not bring error in the body but I searched, searched, searched and I did not really find anyone I know operating this dimension of what, what is about to happen and because of that I went to scripture and then I found out that there were things that were hidden that were not known in time past but that in these days God had revealed them who is apostles and prophets the Lord would open my eyes and show me the map of a nation or the map of a city and I would see light would point a particular region and the moment I announce it all the people from that region the power of God begins to touch them this is a sign and a wonder when it started in my life I said what is the meaning of this are we together now and i'm saying that because this is what i'm seeing i'm now seeing that vision right now of a map and the light of god is touching kogi state this is what i'm seeing listen help them please you see what i'm saying kogi state kogi state bring them out kalatuski debra katus theater kebrantos kalibra katus theater kogi state God is bringing deliverance. There are foundations, there are altars that have tied the destinies of men down. In the name of Jesus, I come by the apostolic and the prophetic. Here at this miracle service, call this day, doesn't matter what local government, in the name of Jesus, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, we arrest everything. Please don't come out on your own. Palisa Breketushia Takara Sutia. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. These things are manifestations of the Spirit. It is to profit the believers. Hear me. 
Except God is not God Everything that followed you here this night To tie your destiny I declare by the power of the Holy Ghost Help them please It must let you go now It must let you go now Covenant It must let you go now Yokes of ancestry It must let you go now In the name of Jesus Christ Hallelujah Now There is someone here in politics The power of God is coming on you I'm not, I'm not a politician I don't play politics I'm a man of God But I love politicians I love great people I don't run away from them We are sent to minister to them but there is a politician right now I'm talking, the power of God is coming on the person Just hold the person, I want to prophesy If that is a woman, just hold her I want to speak to her Because I'm seeing her climb a ladder There is a strange political door That is about to open up for her Listen, this is the house of God It's impossible to come here and return back Minister Dunstan already told us here I am that I am let me use please just rest you don't have to just take it easy with her i don't know who she is but just help her please that's all right we are hold her there please don't worry you don't have to just keep her there you don't have to lift her just keep her there madam we respect you we do not insult your pedigree in any way it's just to speak over your life in the name of jesus christ I come, I use her as a point of contact. I don't know why God is speaking to those who are politicians. If you are in politics here and you are being grounded by any reason, I stand in the name of Jesus. You see, every state rises based on the king, priest, prophet formation. The king, priest, prophet formation. I declare in the name of Jesus, everyone here, Politically, may my God lift you to the next level. May my God lift you to the next level by the power that raised Jesus from the dead. Ene Ojo. Ene Ojo. Is there a name like that? Ojo. What's your name? Huh? Give please, is the mic working? What's your name? From where? Kogi State. Stand here. I want to pray for you. You believe in Jesus? Where are you coming from? In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you. Every door that has been closed over your family. I'm speaking to you now in the name of Jesus, who is the Son of the Living God. May that door be open now. Madam, what do you do? Hold on, please. Is this mic working? Please, media, help us. I'm a politician. You're a politician? Yes, sir. I hope you're not embarrassed. No, sir. <laughs> Don't cry, madam. God did not bring you here to embarrass you. I'm speaking to you in the open, in the name of Jesus Christ. I, I, I don't know whether, in the name of Jesus Christ, rise to a new level in your political career. By the power that raised Christ from the dead There is a king maker anointing Listen to me King makers never become kings But they enthrone kings And they remove kings It's a grace In the name of Jesus May the Lord honor you All of you who are standing here My dear Shout Jesus as loud as you can You That's the name that is above every other name. I pray for all of you who are here. Everything holding you down, right now, I speak in Jesus' name. Let it let you go now. It must let you go by the power that raised Christ from the dead. The Lord wants to set a family free. I'm seeing that the men in that family keep dying. This is what I'm seeing. This is a pattern. 
all the men something continues to happen to them remember that happened to the widow at Nain her husband died her only son died please return back to your seat rejoicing madam can I pray for you yes hold on please where are you coming from um, in from Kogi and Zana's mother I mean, Zana not... from England the right seat oh I see God bless you ma you're welcome this is koinonia in the name of Jesus I stretch my hands I'm seeing chains around your chest and your hand in Jesus name help her please look at this out of her now give Jesus praise it's over forever mama God bless you you return back hallelujah Sir, can I talk to you? This man on black wearing the nose mask. Please come. I hope you are not embarrassed, sir. Mm. Where are you coming from, sir? I want to pray for you. I'm seeing you try to climb a ladder and the ladder is breaking and bringing you down. And the Lord is saying to prophesy to you so that you will rise. This is what I'm seeing. You believe that? In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands. I decree and declare the power that lifts by the God of heaven. May that grace come upon you. May that grace come upon you. And you will rise in a way that will surprise you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now I want to pray. The Bible says even the lawful captives. Hold on. Do you know what it means to be a lawful captive? To be a lawful captive means there is a legitimate ground upon the, which the devil is taking advantage of you. But it says even the lawful captive. This is strange. There is a man of God. You are a ministry. You are going to run out now by the power of God. Just hold the person and bring the person here. You are in ministry. We are going to pray. There will be a massive deliverance here right now. Deliverance means a separation between you and the obstacle that stands your way. It doesn't have to be a spirit. It can be a mountain. Once it's an obstacle, it must go. Where is the... I just want to speak over the... I'm, I'm seeing a man of God that... It takes more than sincere desire to do ministry. It takes the power of the Holy Spirit. Father, help him. Grant him the grace to do ministry with integrity. And in the name of Jesus, look at me, sir. You love God. And I love you, but your spirit man is very weak. In the name of Jesus, strength for you. Strength through prayer. Strength through the word. Strength through spiritual exercises. Receive an impartation now of fresh grace. You will return back and the work will begin to speak. In the name of Jesus Christ. As powerful as Jesus is, he needed John to open his heavens. Even if you are a midwife, there are times that you will not be the one to give birth. You will need somebody to help you. Are we together now? Let's pray. At the count of three, I want you to shout the name Jesus. Inside here, following online, at the overflow. When we shout this name, we let the nations know that he is the doer of these things. Now, the moment we shout that name, listen to me. There are chains and there are yokes that have tied people down. Some of you, as you are standing, you are representing families. At this shout, the fire from heaven will fall upon you. Please, I want you to bring them out. Bring your various overflows. Just bring them out. Those at the balcony, please be careful so that you don't just fall from there. Are we together now? Father... You anointed us and you call this a miracle service. There are men and women who have been under yokes of bondage. All kinds. Bondages of delay. Bondages of retrogression. The ill speakings of people. And the Bible declares for this purpose was the Son of God made manifest. That he may destroy the works of the evil one. Therefore Lord as we lift up this shout. The healer. The same way the walls of Jericho fell. Let everything that does not name the name of Christ give way. I are you ready now at the count of three one two three shout jesus i command every power 
I command every force, bring them out. Every yoke of ancestry holding God's people down in the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God, be broken now, be broken now, be broken now, be broken now, my God. Therefore, God has so highly exalted him and given him a name, an office. Above every other office, above thrones, above dominion, I declare every power holding you down, bring them out. That power is dislodged now. We are still praying. Please bring them out. Halakatosa de Ketepa. Shadekete Berekotos Koto Brandegedia. Some of you are representing families. God is asking me to pray. The power of God is going to come upon you. But it's not just for yourself. It's for your entire family. Lord, every family represented here. Makatos Keba. That is under any kind of yoke. I declare by the Spirit of God. In the name of Jesus Christ. That yoke is broken now. Broken now. Broken now. Broken now. There are people here Every time good things are about to manifest You keep walking But just when it's about to happen You may go back and have dreams And encounters and wake up And you will have bought precious things Anyone here That experiences failure Just at the edge of breakthrough May fire fall upon you now May fire fall upon you now May fire fall upon you now in the name of Jesus Christ. Who is like him? Lion and the lamb seated on the throne. Mountains bow down, every ocean roll to the Lord of Lords. We will praise God of night From the rising of the sun To the end of every day Praise God Hallelujah, Elijah I'm hearing a name, Elijah Elijah We're going to pray for the sick shortly Please stretch your hands towards me. I just saw something in the spirit. If you can, just stretch your hands towards me. I saw a vision and I'm seeing what looks like a bag being given to people. And the Lord is telling me, this is, I'm seeing written on it, good news. I'm seeing the number 71. Just stretch your hands towards me. Father, hold on please. From my left to my right. Everyone who must receive this inside, outside, right now, I stretch my hands. May that anointing come upon you. Help them, please. In the name of Jesus, sounds of good news, sounds of good things, sounds of good. Help them. Some of you news that you have been waiting for for many years, many years, suddenly. Suddenly God is bringing it by the power of the Holy Ghost. Suddenly. What do you do? You are Elijah. What do you do? You are a pastor. Where? You have your own church? Can I pray for you? You are Elijah. Hold on please. Don't. Mr. Man. I'm seeing fire coming on you now. Take that grace. In the name of Jesus, you will never be the same again. In the name of Jesus Christ. Pastor, can I pray for you? Listen, we are co-laborers. And God granted us grace to help one another. Are we together now? I stretch my hands towards you. By the power that raised Christ from the dead. In the name of Jesus, may the Lord anoint you. May your ministry step into profound dimensions of signs and wonders. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. 
my God. Please look up. I'm seeing a very interesting vision. The Lord just opened my eyes and I saw a grave. And I saw it open. And I saw things, not people, things that are there coming out. I'm declaring to someone. This is not just restoration, this is resurrection. There are some of you, they've concluded things about you, about your family, about businesses. I call upon my God, everything that has been buried over your destiny, that you will not rise. Conclusions made, skapakatosketa, over your family. I call upon my God, who is your God? Talita kumi, that which is dead, come back to life. Talita kumi, that which is dead. Come back to life. Help them please. Every family, dying businesses, dying families, come back to life by the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. I'm hearing a name, Zion up. Zion up. I pray for all of you. In the name of Jesus Christ. May the power that raised Christ from the dead rest upon you. My dear, this lady, shout Jesus as loud as you can. My friend, what do you do? Sales boy. You are a sales boy. Yes. Where? In Cuba. I'm selling gas. You are selling gas. 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 Uh, Refining of gas. Will you believe what I will tell you? Yes. Sir. Go and register a company. Okay. Huh? Okay. God is taking you into oil and gas. Stand up, my friend. We are not entertainers, so we fear God. I will not stand here and rubbish myself in the presence of God's people. Huh? Go, please hold on. Please don't come out at random. Don't worry, God will minister to everyone. There's order in the house of God so that we don't um... But I want to pray for you. It will not happen now, but it's going to happen. Be faithful. I saw light just coming to the, the choir. Just saw light to the worship area. I don't know what it is, but I just saw a strong anointing. There are people there in the name of Jesus. That the anointing of the Holy Ghost is coming. They say that a river, a river. There are people falling into that river. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Christ of God, that river. It will bring in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you. Please, who is sign up? Where are you coming from? But not say What do you do, man? Oh.
this is 13 years even if it is 3 months in the name of Jesus barrenness dies now barrenness dies now barrenness dies now in the name of Jesus Christ Madam, I pray for you according to the time of life in the name that is above all names go and tell your husband that here at this miracle service the Lord has brought visitation for you in the name of Jesus Christ help her please praise the Lord why is she here your name is Zainab you too huh? I'm a Muslim you called me last week you are a Muslim it doesn't matter you are welcome this is God's house huh? there's no prejudice God bless you whether we love everyone Buddhist, Muslim, whatever you are You just come One guarantee is that you will not go back the way you came That's the deal But you are welcome, you come the way you are I want to pray for you Zainab In the name of Jesus Christ May the Lord bring a visitation for your family A supernatural visitation Everyone trusting God for a job I just saw something now Please believe hmm. You are trusting God for a job Wherever your job is In the name of Jesus Christ May God take you there right now I decree and declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead Some of you by this time next week I stand by the God of my covenant And I declare By this time next week May God surprise you You will come and stand here And you will testify of the marvelous hand of God In the name of Jesus Christ Hallelujah We are going to pray for the sick shortly I am hearing a name Pius Who is Pius? Pius you are pious. You are a worker here. You are a new security here. It's still the same thing. All this ministry doesn't whether you are a worker. You know, most times people have a cliche in churches that workers don't receive anything. Only other people get, no. There's, once Jesus shows up, including me, who is speaking, everybody you will swim in that river and you receive. Are we together? I want to pray for you. In the name of Jesus Christ I declare by the power of the Holy Spirit No The pious I'm seeing is wearing white like me Like this This is what you are wearing <laughs> You are surprised <laughs> This is the place of encounter This is the place of surrender Sir, don't worry, I'll still pray for you Ah, you are we love our workers, you are faithful How could I'm just trying to say that this is what's not the word You understand, but it means that Listen, whether God gives you a prophetic word in your ears or not The prophecy of scripture is valid You can use the prophecy of scripture and prophesy to yourself And it will happen the same way a prophet spoke to you No matter how accurate what we say is We still see in part The word of God, scripture must be exalted above every gift and every prophetic word This becomes your comfort That even though we may not have the time To mention everybody's name And even if there is time We do not have The Bible says Though I speak with tongues of men and angels Though I understand all visions and all of that We are limited But it's for you to believe Sir, I want to pray for you Where are you coming from sir? Abuja here yeah. Can I pray for you? God is lifting people this is what I'm seeing. God is lifting people. God is showing me someone. You work in civil defense. It's time for your lifting. This is this is civil defense. Civil defense. 
Now, Madam, you work in civil defense. I will pray for you, but is there anybody on the balcony that works in civil defense? This is what I'm seeing. This is a lady or not a man. Is there someone like that? Balcony. Oh, find out. Find out first. Where, where were you sitting? Come. Come and stand. This is the place of encounter. Hallelujah. My dear, in the name of Jesus Christ, I don't care what is the issue that is on the table. According to the word of the Lord, if God could locate you, I declare, and I also pray for you, also civil defense, madam, I want to pray for you. Where are you from? I want to pray for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, you will come and stand, both of you. You will stand here before the people of God and you will testify of strange liftings. In the name of Jesus, receive that grace now by the power of the Holy Spirit. Sir, I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Help her, please. Daddy, I don't know why you are standing outside here, but I want to pray for you. We are going to pray for the sick. I'm going to pray for you. Is it husband and wife? Madam, I need to pray. Because I hope you are not embarrassed, sir. Can I talk to you? Ah, you have to pray. I believe in miracles. God is taking sickness. Sickness. I'm looking at you and I'm seeing many things. I'm seeing a thermometer go up and down, up and down, up and down. This is BP. Two people will start running in the overflow outside. Outside. Now, we may not have time to bring them out outside. I'm seeing the power of God. Outside, the overflow outside. Just bring them to the front of the projector screen. I want to pray for them. Because the Lord is taking away the yoke of delay over those families. This is what the Lord is showing me. Sir, may my God bless you. In the name of Jesus. And for you, sir, may my God... Please stand up. You are a worker. What do you want God to do for you? Look at a wise man. You heard what he said? He said, I want to know him more. Is it no relationship that brought this privilege now? Don't you think relationship has other privileges too? The greatest prayer request is relationship. You can have a man's hand, but when you have his heart, you have access to everything. Are we together? And I truly pray that God will help you to know him more. The Holy Ghost that was given to us to help us know the Lord. But in addition to that, the fringe benefits of that relationship. Let it speak in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. I bless you. In the name of Jesus Christ. I don't know why God is visiting the workers. One of you ushers here. The power of God is coming on you. Eh? you I know you are ushers. You are doing your work. But let God visit you first. Then you continue doing what you are doing. I'm seeing the power of God on the ushers now. We are going to... I'm seeing a strong anointing. Star, there is something the devil put on your throat. Sir? This is what I'm saying. I don't know you, sir. Let, let, let the wife talk. Madam, please talk to us. I'm not, I'm not sure I got it. This is what I'm saying. I'm, they were pretty man. I had an operation three weeks ago. They said I'm going to do another one this week. In fact, by Saturday, 
He says, Samsa, I don't know. Uh, I'm running around. For God to help me. Every human agent in partnership with dark powers over your husband, madam, or over your wife, sir, or over your children, or over your parents. I bow my knees to the God of my covenant and I declare in the name of Jesus that thing is destroyed now. Destroyed now. Destroyed now. Help them. Destroyed now. Please stand up. Let me tell you this. You see, one of the ways that God helps you to dispense the anointing is He plants compassion in you over the lives of people. This is somebody's father and grandfather. Now He's saying that, look, doctors are a miracle, they are instruments of God's mercy. Without them, we'll not even live to even learn the ways of God. But look what is happening to this man now. We're about to pray for the sick shortly. I'm sure there's a reason why the Lord left him here. That he came together with our mother here. And now, they are, I don't know what kind of surgery they are going to do now. But that he will never be able to speak again. Sir. Come again. So that either life or death. Don't worry, madam. You are in the right place. You are a man of God here. Please listen to me. You see the reason why we must keep contending for the anointing. It's not enough to say I'm Apostle Joshua Selman. I am this. Our alignment. There are destinies tied to our obedience. There are destiny tied to our prayer, our fasting, our diligence. The miracle that happens to this man and this family can bring many to Jesus. So no matter what level you are in ministry, please let this thing plant a genuine hunger. All these celebrity things that destroy us, push it one side and settle with God. Carry genuine fire, ever increasing fire. Yesterday's oil may not solve today's challenges. You will need fresh fire for the season. And if you are not ready to stay with God, don't ask God to give you members. What will you be doing with them? It's evil to ask people to come and gather people everywhere and then waste their time, share the grace and go back. Please don't be offended. I'm not. I'm just sharing with you a passion. I'm looking at this man's situation. Daddy, we're going to pray for you. And I believe Jesus. That he will do a miracle for you. I don't know what it is that he has put. And then God will heal you of BP. Because I saw a thermometer going up and coming down. Can we pray for the sick now? In the name of Jesus. Please, no, stand up, sir. God bless you. My people have prayed for you. You can go back to your seat. Let's pray for the sick now. It's important. You see, I know that we live in very challenging times. And the devil has complicated matters by bringing all kinds of sicknesses on people. We had the miracle service in Zaria. Um day before yesterday and I was touched and broken when a woman came who had showed me they, they were doing dialysis for her it's a family that is not well very well to do and then in the midst of it now I'm not a doctor but medical people will tell you here I don't know how much it costs to do dialysis but it's a very serious thing hallelujah but Jesus still heals and right now, please listen, we have to do it very fast because I know your prayer requests are here. By the way, if you are yet to write it, please make sure that you do so quickly. But I'm going to minister to the sick right now. And when I pray for you, all the overflows outside, following online, maybe some of you are following from hospitals on a sick bed, death sentence, about to go. I want you to believe Jesus. Hallelujah. 
As soon as I pray for you Listen please The power of God will come upon you Already miracles have started happening Now this is what will happen As soon as the power of God touches you And I ask you to check yourself I want you to run out here Please whether they are overflow 1, 2, 3 Down to the basement or outside Those online you can register your testimony online I want you to come out Use either this place No, no, no you don't have to bring them out I'm praying for them right from there so whether you come out from here or here Once you are healed Then you bring them out You don't have to bring the sick out They will crowd this place I'm just going to pray for you This is just because our father came out and stood here Are we together? Now lay your hands very quickly everyone If it's a part of your body you cannot touch Just make contact with your chest He touched me the master touched me And oh what joy Fills my soul Something Happened And now He touched me There will be a loud shout of a gentleman and a lady The moment that shout happens The healing power of Jesus will begin to move A gentleman and a lady Now we are ready to pray Please I like you to believe with a loud amen as I pray In the name of Jesus Christ In the name of Jesus Christ My God the healing anointing is flowing here in the name of Jesus Christ. Every devil behind infirmities, you don't have to bring them out. Right now, miracles are happening. I command those devils to give way now. Give way now. Give way now. Now, in the name of Jesus Christ, from the crown of your head, to the soles of your feet be healed in Jesus name be healed in Jesus name migraine headaches be healed in Jesus name ulcers be healed in Jesus name all kinds of growths and lumps around the body I command them to disappear now. Bone conditions be healed now. Those on crutches, those on wheelchairs, in the name of Jesus, be healed now. Be healed now and you try to stand up. You're on a crutch, lift the crutch and start walking. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ Deaf ears, partial deafness Complete deafness Be healed now Blind eyes Open now All kinds of cancers And ulcers like our father here Now I'm praying for you sir In the name of Jesus Christ I stretch my hands to you And then as a point of contact to everyone Having any demonic death sentence In Jesus name be healed now Be healed now The Lord is showing me people Having severe abdominal problems All kinds of abdominal problems here The power of God is touching you right now in the name of Jesus Christ There's someone What you have looks like What we call Parkinson's I think I'm right That thing that makes you to just shake Your body shakes In the name of Jesus I declare May the power of the Holy Ghost touch you now May the power of the Holy Ghost touch you now Be healed in the name of Jesus In the name of Jesus Christ I'm seeing a lady here 
you don't have anything cancer but your hair falls this, is, this has been a very demonic thing right now the power of God is touching you be healed now be healed now please don't don't you are punishing this man just keep him somewhere when he's healed he can stand up and come huh the man is trying to stand now don't be embarrassed i want to pray for you you don't have to come out the lord is showing me a woman you are not um what do you call it now you are not a nursing mother yet you are lactating now i hope i know what i'm saying praise the lord but this is what is happening in the name of jesus christ let there be a miracle for you now I don't know what the medical condition is but in jesus name we stop it now there's someone your left is this your left eye you don't see very well with it after this prayer check it right now a miracle is happening to you i'm feeling pains here literally at the left side of my uh what they call this your kneecap this is somebody's condition right now the power of god is touching you supernatural miracle right now supernatural miracle right now in the name of jesus christ back pains all kinds of back pains in the name of jesus christ be healed now the lord is showing me at least eight people you have to take pills to sleep you can't lie down normally and sleep i think there's a medical condition there's a name for it you are, you are not able to lie down and sleep you must take a lot of drugs one of you the power of god is coming on you now that demonic thing we command it to live your life in jesus name. in the name of jesus and then i'm seeing someone until now i think you have a problem with your shoulder i don't know what it is you cannot lift it as soon as i pray just lift it check yourself do what you cannot do you'll be surprised that the power of god has touched you right now supernatural miracle and then i'm seeing someone you can't walk like walk outside for a long time you become unusually tired you are not a very old person but then you walk no matter how even if you you rested the whole day once you walk out just for a few minutes you become extremely tired the power of god is touching you now no you don't have to come out you check yourself when when it's time to take miracles we'll take them in the name of jesus christ i'm seeing multiple breast lumps the lord is healing them right now any stranger in your body that has not been planted by God I command it to go out now <laughs> hallelujah ah, I'm seeing you've been feeling like you are pregnant but you are not pregnant and yet it looks like the symptoms of pregnancy is with you dear this is a demonic thing in the name of jesus i don't know who that that kind of occurrence you have dreams and you see all these ugly spirits come to molest you and this thing you be you feel as if you are pregnant physically but then you are not really pregnant in the name of jesus anyone in fraternity with dark powers that they are taking advantage of you to spy upon your liberty i declare be released right now Sugar diabetes be healed now. Hepatitis be healed now. Uh, the Lord is showing me someone. Is it that you fell down from a bed or you fell down from a building or something? And your rib area is like you fell down right there. And from that day till now there's been severe pain around your rib area but right now as i'm spraying the power of god is touching you be healed in the name of jesus now whether i mention your case or not in the name of jesus be healed now three things we're going to do at the same time number one all those check yourself now check yourself you find out there are people that jesus has healed 
inside outside i want you to run quickly you can come and stand here people are coming celebrate them or you stand here please come check yourself check yourself please make sure you check them there will be people here to ch- i spotted dr bukola williams somewhere please you can help to just verify the people let's just have people come in god has healed you please come out and stand while that is happening please ushers pr you can help them please pass your prayer request to the last person at the aisle whether left or right and then they lift it up very quickly so that we'll have them together very quickly jesus is healing people koinonia are you celebrating miracles from all the overflows please make your way Creator of the universe, what can't you do? What can't you do, Jesus? Creator of faith. All the overflow Just allow those who are healed to come You're the name Name of the name What can you say What can you say You are ready Hallelujah. Let's have a few of the te- do we have the mics? Are they ready? Let's just have a few very quickly, please. Whilst that is happening, please do well. If you need a minute to quickly write your prayer request, please write it. They are bringing all of them to the altar here. We are going to be praying and let the God that answers by fire bring miracles to you. In the name of Jesus, ensure that the overflows, everyone has their prayer request. Those online, I like you to keep faith. We are going to pray and the power of God will touch you there. Yes, very quickly, please. She has had it for over a month now, but the pain is gone. It's gone. Ben. Any pain. Any pain. Completely. In the name of Jesus, it never returns to you. By the power of the Holy Ghost. That anointing comes on you. It perfects you in Jesus' name. Yes, please. You mentioned the knee cap challenge. Immediately you mentioned that the pain disappears. So How long have you had it, madam? A month. A month. Check yourself. Any pain. Completely gone. Give Jesus praise. Let's celebrate Jesus. Back yeah. pain too. Our mommy has had back pain and laughs. Let her speak. Go ahead, ma. I've been having pain from my leg and laughs for over three months now. And right now. Ah, ah, look at this. Look at this. In the name of Jesus, it never returns to you again. Yes, sir. Pain oh, so you gave Hold on, please. Knowledge. Just a moment. Yes. So you gave a word of knowledge for the knee. The knee. The knee. How long? For over three months now. Check yourself. It's gone. Completely gone. Every other issue goes like that in the name of Jesus. Yes, please. So we have another knee here. The same, the same problem. Knee. Yeah. Check yourself. It's gone. Completely. It's gone. In the name of all of you. Three months. Yes. Three months. Are you seeing the coins? It looks like coincidences. Everything that is off balance in your life, in Jesus' name, restoration comes for it. Yes, sir. 2016. 2016. Yes, sir. Your knee. Yes. And right now, run. You told me to do a surgery. Go ahead, run. Check yourself. Any pain? Any pain? Just a little, huh? Jump. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare, never, never returns again by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes. of someone that fell from the bed. This is it. She has had the pain in the leg, but the pain is gone. Oh, I'm now. seeing 
is, is that a bandage or something? Yes. Let us speak. When straight I came, to the point. Straight to the point. Okay, what, what happened? <laughs> don't worry. Don't worry. Take your time. Uh huh. This evening, when I came in, I had so much pains. I had to go to the medical, but he kept telling me it has, it has to take one month, four weeks for me to get well. And then I told him I was even, this evening I had an engagement. He said I should just keep, I don't know if it's outside, that I should just keep putting my leg like this and not press the leg so that it doesn't okay, get... Okay, what me. happened now? But now I feel a lot better. In the name of Jesus Christ, I stretch my hands and I declare perfection. Perfection by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please. Someone with a pain around the, 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 the shoulder. shoulder. Yes, it's gone. Now. gone. Check yourself completely. My goodness. In the name of Jesus, it never returns by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please. Another case of me can healed. Mama, how long has it been? Uh, since on the second of. Uh, this month, okay. I just came back from my mother's burial uh, from the village. The kneecap started, and the same thing happened to my elder sister that I lost on the 13th of uh, January. She came back from the village, and this same thing led to her death. Anybody that digs a pit for you, what happened to Haman may it happen to them. The rod of the wicked, the Bible says, shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous. Mama, be healed, completely perfected in Jesus' name. Yes, please, go ahead. Cases of chest pain at the shoulder and the breast region, they are both healed. Completely. In the name of Jesus, a miracle for you. Yes, sir. Right. So, Apostle, she's an actress and she, she's having a shortness of breath. And you, you are an actress. Uh, I'm an actress. I met a guy on a location brand. And after meeting the guy, after we left the location, got to my hotel room, I start feeling dizzy. And anytime I walk to this, I start feeling weak inside of me. So my pastor's wife gave me the cliffs, your one of your cliffs to watch. And in my dream, you gave me sugar. So I decided, I told my pastor's wife everything, and he asked me to come here. To come Lagos. here. Yes. From Lagos, Lagos, you came. Yes. And right now he's gone. Yes. Make sure you take a bottle of wine and go and thank your pastor's wife. May the Lord bless you. And if she's watching, the Lord bless you, ma. And the Lord honor you. I decree and declare not only is God bringing perfection, even in your career, you will thrive, go from glory to glory. In Jesus' name. Ah, there's a miracle here. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. My God. Oh God, people who saw me coming in, in fact, I had to beg the security men to help me park very close to the gate. Because I can't work with this without this. I How have long? So much pain. How long has it been? Here, May. Okay. And the doctor told me that I needed total hip replacement. I've been having severe pains, like my hip was cut. But while you told uh, the people who were laughing in the spirit to come out, I stood up and immediately I just felt the Walk. pain. Walk. Completely gone. Pain. Are you celebrating miracles? Look at this. In the name of Jesus, we declare perfection. It never returns by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please. Give Jesus praise. So we have cases of ulcer being healed. Peptic ulcer. So how many years? Peptic ulcer for more than two years. And the pain. Mine is six years. Six years. In the name of Jesus, for all of you who... Who have suffered also, I declare by the power of the Holy Spirit, this healing is, is completely perfected. It will never return back again. In Jesus' name I pray. 24 years. 24 years. Place your hand on your chest. I'm touched just by that. Lord, may it never return. A miracle for you. There's a miracle in this room with my name on it. There's a breakthrough in this room with my name. Healing for you in the name of Jesus. Yes, sir. My God, there are so many miracles. Let's see what we can do. Yes, please. 
knee. Yeah. Now, all of you who have knee issues, just place your hand there. Let me just seal your miracle. By the power of the Holy Spirit, in the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God, either here or here, all of you together, I declare healing for you, perfection in Jesus' name. Yes, Benga, go ahead. He came here very, very sick. He said he had muscle pain. So he went to the medicals. They yes. gave him drugs, but he was still feeling it. But immediately you mentioned I think we should celebrate our doctors. They are doing an amazing work at the medical session. Very intelligent, skilled people giving their heart and their all to the Lord. The Lord bless you in Jesus' now name. The pains are gone. Completely. The pains are gone. Yes, sir. In the name of Jesus, it never returns to you by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please. You mentioned the case, but now she's no longer feeling it. How long has this been? I've been having it uh, for a very long time, but ever since I started praying for my sister because she has a kidney, yes. sickle cell, gallbladder stone. So ever since I started praying for her, I don't know whether they were just attacking me. So anytime I take in that hotness, we just remove the pregnancy. So and sometimes I can't even my cloth just for my cloth to stay, relax on my body. I can't. I must open like because it's too hot that I need to get something cold to touch it. But immediately you talked about healing. So the the whole thing now started coming down. It's not as bad as, as it used to be. So right now I'm not feeling that hotness Come. in my womb. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare. Don't cry. This is your sister's photo. Job 42 verse 10. And the Lord turned again the captivity of Job when he prayed for his friend. I pray. In the name of Jesus, who is the Son of the living God, lay your hands there and watch a miracle happen for you right now. By the power that raised Christ from the dead, I decree and declare for you and for your sister, let there be a miracle right now. And whatever has been responsible for these miscarriages, we cause it by the God of heaven. Go and return back a joyful mother of children. In Jesus' name, God bless you. Completely Check yourselves All of you with shoulder issues In Jesus name We may just take two two And then I'll pray I know that there are so many people Now listen Every time you're unable to Testify here real time You can always register your testimony And then let's know um, By the way week All week long The media lines are open You can always register your testimony And then I know that we have a lot of people And sometimes we are constrained by time but it is good for God's people to know that God is at work in your life. Feel secured, feel safe to share your testimonies. It doesn't have to be a healing miracle in any area at all. Praise the name of the Lord. We see how God will grant us grace to dedicate a little more time. Testimonies are powerful. They are attestations of the love, the power, the grace of God. And we don't downplay them at all. Praise the name of the Lord. So let's take two, maybe two each, and then we'll just pray generally for the rest. Yes, ma'am. Ah, let us speak. Okay, I had a lump on my shoulder here. Wow. And it was really conspicuous, and it was it just kept growing, but it has shrunk completely. Give Jesus praise. <laughs> Creative miracles by the power of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, we declare every growth. It leaves never to return. In Jesus' name I pray. Give Jesus praise. The last person, please. Back pain is here. The pains are gone. Back pain. Back pain. Check yourself, my dear. Any pain? Any pain? Completely gone. In Jesus' name, perfection for you. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, sir. Thank you so much, Apostle. You gave a word of knowledge about someone that is lactating. Wow. How long has this been? Since 2019. 2019? Yes. And this has happened to you? Yes. And what happened to you now? I went to the bathroom. You went out to check yourself? Yes, I went. It's gone. Come on, Koinonia. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare perfection for your body. In Jesus' name. Yes, please. So, sir, this is... She's been healed, her ankle... And she's had her eyes for two years. She couldn't see. Right now, she can actually see. Then Mama back in. Several testimonies, Apostle. No. Hold on. Every... I'm interested in this too. Our time is gone, but can I pray for you, Madam? How long has this been? You started since March this year. Since March. Check yourself now. Any pain? Completely gone. I decree and declare it never returns to you again. By the power of the Holy Spirit. God bless you. Yes, Madam. 
since two years now, I have not been seen very well. And what couldn't you see? Everything. I always have severe pains in my eyes. Before I would sleep, I would always apply this uh, eye drop every night, every day, before going to bed. But today, I came with the severe pain, seriously. But after your prayers, everything just disappeared. I can't feel any pain anymore. Hallelujah. And I can see very well You now. can see clearly. Very well. Place your hands on your eyes. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare and I decree, spiritually and physically, may you truly begin to see. In the name of Jesus, perfection for your vision. Now, I pray for all of you. I'm sure that many of you thank you, by the way, for the courage to come intending to testify. For constraint of time, we may not be able to testify now, but I pray for you. Every miracle you have received, and those are the overflow, those following from whatever nation, in Jesus' name it remains so, it remains permanent, never to return again. We declare that you are blessed now, you are blessed forever. In Jesus' name I pray. Please rise up on your feet, stretch your hands here, we're about to pray. This is a very prophetic hour right now. Our time is gone, but please be patient. This is a very critical part of the miracle service where we get to pray over the requests. Just stretch your hands towards me as I agree. We have a covenant of answered prayers with the Lord. If there are still more, please bring it quickly so that we have it here. Please begin to pray and decree and declare. These Egyptians I see today, I see them no more forever. Please make sure you pray. God of vengeance has fight my battle for me. God of miracles has won my battles for me. I'm a winner man. I'm a winner man. He has won my battle for me. I'm a winner man. God of vengeance, God of vengeance has won my battle for me. God of miracles has won my battle for me. I'm a winner man, I'm a winner man. Please stretch your hands in one minute and let's pray. Father, God of heaven, please pray. You are receiving by faith. We are crying to the God of heaven. Just pray. name of Jesus why do we pray over our requests because the Bible says in Philippians chapter 4 and verse 6 to be anxious for nothing is this but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving it says to make our requests known 
let your request be made known this is the most accurate representation of our desires our frustrations our constraints no matter how we prophesy we are not able to reach as many people but this is everyone's genuine desire nobody reads it this is between you and your maker but I stand in the name of Jesus by the privilege of priesthood and I declare over this request that these Egyptians you see today may you see them no more forever Every shame and every disappointment written here, represented here, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, it is turned to joy. Every closed door that is responsible for this request here, we command those doors to be opened now. Father, I pray and call upon you who is the God of all flesh who has sent us standing in the midst of your people I decree and declare Lord let every one of these prayer requests be turned to testimonies in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ and for those who are not here but you wrote for them May the angel of the Lord's presence right from this place go to their homes, their nations and bring strange miracles for them. Please lift your hands to receive the blessing. Father, I want you to believe right now. The anointing you need for the results that your destiny needs to command. I pray for you. You don't have to bring those under the anointing outside now. In the name of Jesus, whether in ministry, whether in politics, in business, there are parliamentarians here, there are people from everywhere. There are business people, veterans in business, civil service, I pray. The unction required for the next level of your results. I stand here and I declare, let it come upon you now. That before miracle service before miracle service June I decree and declare you will check all these requests and you will not find any left and the king sent for Joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon whoever must send for you in this season I decree and declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead may the book of remembrance be opened now if there's anyone here that the spirit of death is trailing or trailing your family members whether death through the air by sea by land in the name of Jesus we speak to the spirit of death you stay clear of them now <laughs> hallelujah every long standing issue that has refused to answer to the name of the Lord I agree with you in the name of Jesus Christ let it be answered tonight hallelujah whatever has failed in your hands in the name of Jesus go back and succeed whatever has refused to walk in your hands I declare go back and succeed for those of you in ministry fresh fire for the new season those of you in business fresh connections and illumination those in politics parliamentarians supernatural grace in the name of Jesus and then I pray for your spiritual life there is always an emphasis on our relationship with Jesus Christ our passion and our hunger I'm going to make the altar call shortly but let me pray for your spiritual life 
You go up today, you are down tomorrow. You pray today, then you ignore the prayer altar. You study today, then you ignore it. The grace for consistency. Take that grace now. Grace for prayer, fasting, word study, worship. May that grace rest upon you now. Can we pray over favor? Hmm. Father, upon your people, the proof of favor is not just money. The proof of favor is loyalty to the hearts of men. I pray for you. Everybody who must consider you, in the name that is above all names, find favor with them. Find favor with systems. Find favor with structures. Find favor with government. Find favor with captains of industry. Find favor with gatekeepers. In the name of Jesus Christ. Um, level, um, sugar level that okay. you recorded this morning. So, 20. Um, yes. How old is she? 12, 12 years. years. So, usually they take, um, there's this drug, they take insulin just to help maintain the yes. sugar level. So, after the prayers and all, he believed, trusted God, and then they went to the medical stand, and then they checked the sugar level, and it was 3.3. From 20, a 12, listen, if Satan does not spare a little girl like this, 12 year old, 20, my dear, how are you? Fine. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we pray for this our little one it will never go beyond normal again in jesus name and in the name of jesus i declare you grow normally you are healthy in jesus name let's celebrate jesus god bless you yes please well, so apostle well this is not directly related to healing but yes. quite interesting um you know the people you called out and prayed for okay just praying for them sir her dad has been calling her she will she will explain father you mentioned um my father has done diabolical things you mentioned my father has done things with innocent people's blood and my father immediately i came out my father started calling me my he started father, calling you he started calling me immediately i came out he started calling me immediately i came out oh both of you you are sisters yes. where are you from Kogi State. he started calling you that what happened uh, we haven't picked up the call because we know that he wants us to come back home What do we do to these things now? <laughs> Listen, dear ones, look at me. You believe in Jesus Christ? Don't be afraid. Are you Muslims? You are Christians? Don't be afraid. Um, let me tell you something. There is no weapon that is fashioned against you. You see, it's very difficult to do whatever you want to do because this is your father. I declare that no charm and no enchantment of darkness against you will thrive yeah. see it's very difficult when the person who the devil is using is related to you it's easy to shout and kill any other person who is not a relative who is any other person but now this is this is this is your own father they love their father don't cry can we pray that god will save that man that is a scriptural approach to these kinds of things God is able to save unto the uttermost. Don't you think because he's involved in diabolic things, God cannot save him? Ask Saul, who became Paul. Father, we agree as a church. Right now, arrest and visit the Father. Arrest and visit the Father. We pray for his salvation. And in the name of Jesus, we pray that he is preserved. And as for you, I use you as a point of contact to your siblings. And I declare you are preserved supernaturally. In Jesus' name. Please go in peace. Do not fear. Eh? In Jesus' name. Apostle, another case of rumination here. Regurgitation. Okay. Since when she was a teenager, she has had that challenge. She will eat. It will come out. Then take it back again. But Is that true? When you mentioned that case, the power of God came on her. So she went to drink water. And, then and it's, it's gone. It's gone. 
Secondly, a woman visited me 29th of January. They are meant to serve uh, what? A woman. A woman. She oh. has been calling me since last year. The woman has been calling you. Yes. Physically or spiritually? Physically. That I'm, I'm meant to serve water. So, Where are you day, from? I'm from Enugu State. And my father was so diabolic that two of my sister's husbands have died. One is a pastor that just passed on August last year. So she came to 20, to, uh, this 20, uh, 22 yes. and said that I have to serve Shirai and I should leave church. I told her, no, that I'm called to serve God, not to serve Shirai. So when she left, I saw a casket on my bed. And the woman is late? No, the woman left, but I was seeing a vision of a casket when she left my room. So, and I started having a kind of, my head was as if I was bleeding. So I like, don't kill, but anybody that made a casket for you must enter inside it. In the name of Jesus Christ, let me say it again. Anybody that makes a casket for you, I decree and declare what happened to Haman, the same way he built a, a gallow to defeat Mordecai. In the name of Jesus, I say it again. Anybody conspiring with darkness on account of your case, they will, they will, they will get into their own destruction. And in Jesus' name, prophetically, we warn that woman, whoever she is. In the name of Jesus, if she will not let you go, she will follow the way of her man for sure. In Jesus' name. Listen, you are a believer. Don't let anybody threaten you. This is a world that is full of people who will take advantage. They will prey on your ignorance. Are we together? Nobody, even Jesus Christ, gave us room to choose him or any other thing don't let anybody force you and say you must worship this it's demonic i said before you life and death blessing and cursing he tells you to choose hallelujah okay yes, all right sir. sir so we have very interesting testimonies here he was here let's, last let's year. take two okay well can, we um, just, can i add this all of these testimonies yes now here's what will happen um, I, I want to be encouraging all those who come out It takes a lot of courage to come out and testify And sometimes because we are constrained by time Here's what I want you to do from now on Ushers or PR, whoever When people come out like this to testify If they don't have a chance to testify What happens is that Give them a chance to register their names So that by next Sunday we can start with them to testify there are so many people to testify and because of time we'll just pick a few so i think pr or ushers those responsible can do that we when people come out and stand and they are not given a chance to testify they become discouraged another time are we together if if this were a, a vigil for instance we'll have enough time and then we have to do some other things and finish on time because there are people who stay very far this is what is uh, at the back of our rushing so many things generally a miracle service like this when you are dealing with issues you will need quite some time to really deal with matters in people's lives i'm sure one of these days god will grant us grace to do a vigil in the name of jesus christ where we we'll, we'll take out time and really really address issues in people's lives in jesus name but for some of you who may not be allowed to testify please don't don't feel bad um make sure that we'll give you room next week you come um we can start just squeezing to the service so that we give more time for testimonies and have them come to testify but let's take maybe two or three so that we can finish um, right. Because I want to speak over your life Remember the four things we spoke about Even before we pray over those requests It must happen in your life The spiritual progress must happen The financial breakthroughs Are they here for testimonies? If they are here for testimonies Just collect their testimonies Mama is here for testimonies What happened to you mama? Oh dear Hallelujah Have you, have you vetted her? Okay, Mama, straight to the point. Eh? God bless you. Um, technical help us, please. I'm among the uh, people that you said uh, something is moving all over their body. Okay. So as you prayed, the something left. It's me. gone. In Jesus' name, Mama, the fullness of your days you will fulfill. Amen. Amen and amen. God bless you. Yes, please. Okay, Apostle. So we have. Sorry, can we have the camera here? Just to. So he, he had a cast on his leg. Um, and Please show us. Can we see it? Is that possible? A cast. 
Last year. Last year he had a cast and he was healed when he came here and God followed up with another. Praise the Lord. My name is Farouk Danjuman. Last year when you started the Koinonia, I came here with crutches. And I told Oh, you myself, came here with crutches? Yes. What happened to you? And I said my next visit to Koinonia will be I won't come with the crutches. Yes. And you prayed and that was the end right of that process. You're completely then, free. Yes. Then this one happened again. You know, I was on a platform and I was about to fall. And then by my side, there was a snake. Then I screamed. That was a dream. A dream. So, and I What, what happened now? We don't have all that time, I eh? Just to the I point. What did the Lord Jesus leg. Christ and the, this, this hand refused to go after taking so many and right periods. now and right now yes. the Lord we establish your authority over snakes and Amen. scorpions and all the powers of the enemy nothing shall by any means hurt you Amen. in the name of Jesus you are Amen. perfected in Jesus name so start 10 years also healed by also power 10 power. years asthma. in the asthma. name sorry I beg your pardon asthma, asthma. wow praise praise Sorry. This is the inhaler she uses. Okay. I was sitting right there, so I started feeling heavy pains. I started breathing very hard. So the next I took my inhaler, and whenever I take my inhaler, I don't, I don't stand up at yes. all. It makes me weak. So you said we should put our faith in action. Yes. So I stood up. Mira, I stood up. I hold the chair. When I closed my eye, some people held my back. I did not know the people. Then I saw as if I vomit, like in a vision. I saw myself as if I vomited a lizard and ran out. Last, uh, when I was 12 years, when I went to my family compound, my parents, there was a night I came out very early in the morning, so I saw a lion. Hold on, let me pray for them before they move, eh? Please, just stand, let me pray for you. Yes, go ahead. So I saw a lion very early in the morning, I never told anybody, because nobody would believe me. So anytime before the asthma come, I used to see this lion. So maybe I saw this, this lizard coming out of me, when I, I, I bent down, I saw the lizard coming. When I and you are completely around, healed now. Yes, Breathe I went in to and the out. restroom. Breathe I in and out. Rest. When I climb the stairs, in and out. Breathe in and out. When I climb the stairs, I'll that's I all right, my dear. In the name of Jesus Christ, let's celebrate her. She's healed by the power of the Holy Ghost. It will never return to you again. In the name of Jesus. Now, supernaturally, oh dear, there's one more. Okay, let's take my green since when she was a child. My green. My green. In they Jesus. told her it's a pattern. But while you were praying, she fell under the anointing and then the migraine is Completely gone. gone. Healed. Demonic patterns gone forever. In Jesus' name I pray. Let's take the last one. Well, similar pains here. They all have been healed of one pain. In Back the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for all of you who are standing by the power that raised Christ from the dead. Your healings remain permanent. Whether you came out to testify or not, every healing you have received tonight remains permanent. In Jesus' name I pray. Rise up on your feet. We are going to pray. We have just five minutes of prayer. Have you submitted your requests? Lift it up very quickly. Ushers. Now, here's what will happen. Ushers, let's walk. We'll keep reinventing ourselves in the miracle service to, con to conserve time. What will happen is for every miracle service... As soon as we come before praise and worship or afterwards, ushers just move around so that we submit the prayer request so that when it's time like this, we just have it um, quickly. We, we have a few, but then please lift it quickly. Pass it to the last person. Pass it to the last person at the, the left or right aisle, whichever. Don't worry, nobody will read your request. Begin to pray in the spirit while you are doing that. I want to pray for you right now. Along the four areas that God led us to pray today are you praying in the spirit for one minute and then I'll lead you through a declaration of faith let the redeemed of the Lord say so let the healed of the Lord say so the blessed of the Lord say so the lifted of the Lord say so the anointed of the Lord says so. The prosperous of the Lord says so. The healthy of the Lord says so. Please make sure you receive all the requests, ushers. Let's make it very fast. Those following online, you can bring out your prayer request and just keep it in front of you prophetically for those who are connecting online. If you've sent it, no problem, we have it and we're going to pray over it. But if you're in your home and you have your request, just place it prophetically. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, 
We are going to pray concerning our spiritual growth Please listen The Bible says I wish above all things that you prosper and be in health Even as thy soul prospers Remember We are not just a place of breakthrough and miracles and liftings We are primarily 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 A place that will help people encounter Jesus Christ And encounter the power of the Holy Spirit If your spiritual life has gone down or is going down your fervency for prayer word study the house of god now is the time to pray grace is available to put you back in right and strong standing are you ready to pray some of you have stopped fasting the grace for it is completely not there anytime you say you want to fast from seven o'clock by ten it's as if you are going to die it is a demonic thing the human spirit even animals have capacity to endure anything that puts you in that state is the devil he's trying to destroy you lift your voice in one minute and pray over your spiritual life in the name of jesus christ as we step into the month of april i am praying over my spiritual life someone is praying passion for the word of god passion for prayer passion for the house of god the bible declares i was glad when they said unto me let us go to the house of the lord lift your voice and pray over your spiritual life the bible says grow in grace second peter chapter 3 and verse 18 grow in grace and in the knowledge of our lord jesus christ we can grow in grace and we can grow in the knowledge of our lord jesus christ i like you to declare that my spiritual life is coming alive my passion for the things of god my passion for the house of god my passion for prayer make sure you pray this is a major part of this meeting my passion for prayer my passion for the study of the word in the name of jesus my spiritual life is fanned back to flames every lukewarmness backsliding everything that does not represent spiritual growth i drive it out of my life in the name of jesus christ number two we spoke about healing now listen when you study what paul wrote about the gifts of the spirit all of the other gifts you will find gift of gift of but when it comes to healing you will see that paul wrote the gifts of healing that means there are many dimensions to healing bodily healing is just one of the dimensions there is solical healing the healing of your mind for the bible says a broken spirit can dry the bones from the realm of the spirit and it can affect you are we together now it says say to those who are of a broken heart do not be afraid he will come and save you so you are going to pray for healing complete holistic healing for some of you maybe healing in your body you will still pray some of you god has begun the miracle it's there to be perfected you are going to pray for perfection of healing for some of you is your mind your emotions have been so wrecked by all the things that have happened in your life maybe pains maybe disappointments several things have happened in your mind and you need to be free you need to be completely healed there are others who are saying there are other aspects of my life I'm coming to finances but even finances you can receive healing in your finances the same way your body is sick your finances can be sick your career can be sick lift your voice and command healing go ahead go ahead and declare healing by the power of the Holy Spirit I declare healing healing of my body I declare healing healing of my mind I declare healing healing in my job I declare healing healing in my emotions is someone praying remember ye not the former things nor consider the things of old healing from disappointments healing from pain healing from betrayals healing from backstabbings healing from losses healing from bereavements go ahead and pray i decree and declare supernatural healing by the power of the holy spirit i'm tired of carrying a backlog of pain i declare that i'm healed finally by the power of the holy spirit the sun has set me free i am free indeed the sun has set me free i am free indeed in the name of jesus christ hallelujah third prayer 
I want you to pray this with aggression and pray this with vigor. Stagnation. To be stagnated means to be kept in one place. Are we together? Yes. Stagnation is very dangerous because the Bible says the path of a just is as a shining light that moves, that shines brighter and brighter unto the perfect day. You are going to decree and declare every force responsible for stagnation. Many of you, what you are praying right now is what you wrote here. I'd like you to pray stagnation in ministry, stagnation in business, stagnation in family, stagnation over your career. Lift your voice and rebuke that spirit. Command advance over your life command advancement are you praying you came for a miracle service inside outside command stagnation those in ministry pray in the name of Jesus I do ministry with results I command the spirit of stagnation over my life stagnation in my career stagnation over my endeavors in the name of Jesus I decree and declare I press I go forward I move forward in every area of my life I break forth from the left I break forth from the right I break forth above and below in the name of Jesus I make constructive ever increasing progress ever increasing project progress I actualize destiny by the power of the Holy Spirit some of you may have experienced stagnation even in your structural establishment you begun a building it has refused to grow it has refused to be completed pray and rebuke that spirit in the name of Jesus hallelujah finally look up please I want you to pray over your finances now let me say this we're wrapping up I don't know if you are interested in your financial well-being or not but as a man of God that God has placed over you, I will not let you rest till you prosper. It's not only knowing God. You will know God. You will love Him with all your heart. But I can tell you in advance, if something is wrong with your finances, you will suffer as if Jesus did not die for you. Are we together? I've seen fi financial issues. Finance is not everything. But let me submit to you. Finance holds a major key in your well-being. Ask anybody who is sincere, especially at this time now. You know how much, look at diesel, 700 and something, PMS, only God knows. The other day we were discussing at school of ministry, gas cylinder, gas cylinder. I don't know whether it's empty or filled. You, you will buy it and be crying as you are lifting it back home because of, you know, all kinds of things. Women will tell you here, you go to the market, it's as if you want to run away from that place. Because everything has escalated. You see, the Bible told us that these times will come, but there is a system of exemption. Don't forget there was darkness in Egypt, but there was light all over Goshen. Are we together? Now, when you are praying for your finances, you are going to pray a twofold prayer. Number one, that Christ be revealed as the wisdom of God. Remember, there are two levels of light. There is light that shines on your head, Job 29. And there is light that shines on your feet. The one that shines on your head gives you illumination. The one that shines on your feet gives you direction. You need both. You need strategy and direction. Thou shalt hear a voice from behind saying, Just because everybody is doing something, you follow them, you may crash. You need a specific direction. And then of course... We are going to pray that the favor of God, oh dear, I'm praying that you will really understand the role that favor has to play as far as your financial lifting is concerned. What is favor? Men willing to participate in your, in your success. Are you ready to pray? In one minute, cry to God, pray. Break this hold of financial stagnation. Please pray, please pray. Most of what you have written here, if we are to be very honest, most of them depend on finances, the fees of your children, structural projects, your well-being and welfare, those who are under your care that you need to take care of. As a person, you may not have any financial need, but how about your organization? 
how about your church how about your ministry lift your voice and pray especially for some of you that god has so graciously raised to be breadwinners to be the ones who will help your loved ones lift your voice and pray lord strengthen my hand strengthen my hand financially even at times like this holy spirit appear unto me as the wisdom of god let light shine upon my head giving me illumination and strategies let light shine upon my feet giving me direction and guidance please pray pray from the depth of your heart there are many pending projects in our lives because of financial limitations there are many things we are unable to do as far as our divine assignments are concerned because of financial constraints rebuke that spirit i'm about to speak over your life hallelujah 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 can i tell you sincerely one of the reasons why we are able to serve god in truth by the mercies of god is because god has shown us mercy on this wise i can tell you integrity is difficult when you have financial problems just believe me when i tell you this now remember we've taught here when we teach on finances there are people who exaggerate it and it is all about the marketing of flesh money money let me have money just for the sake of the flesh that's not what we are saying but any sincere person who loves god knows that if something is wrong with your finances it can wreck your marriage there are do you know that there are children that stop going to school since after the pandemic because their parents sincerely cannot offer it and there are others who maybe have their jobs their jobs are still there they are paying them the salary is just that it is honestly not enough to solve the problems can i tell you this i've told you i pray to god and i vowed and covenanted with god that i will never be the man of god who just focuses on your spiritual growth alone and then leave other aspects of your life to go down imagine that as you are standing right now there's no food in my house i'm going to carry a bowl and walk to you prophetically not generally i will walk to you i will tell you as, as soon as i get to you just don't even argue with me i know what i've seen that made me come to you because of hunger so most of the people who are compromising on integrity may not necessarily be bad people when you pray for the grace for integrity pray for financial empowerment if you are empowered it will give you the leverage to be able to walk in integrity are we together now if someone comes to bribe you to change something in your office and is going to give you hundred million you can say no i'm standing for jesus you will go to heaven but you will still suffer on earth because of that that because of your integrity so you have to pray a time has come in the body of christ where we should not shy away from the necessity of financial empowerment you can be empowered and still be righteous you can still be empowered and love jesus are we together there are more compromises as a result of lack of resources than there are as a result of plenty resources are you ready to pray for favor please cry unto god in one minute father let favor come upon my life grant me financial rest the lord put this in my heart this is part of the miracle service i must honor what he has given me please pray corporate rest financially personal rest financially lord grant rest in the name of jesus i'm tired of financial embarrassment i'm tired of worrying about money is distracting my prayer life is distracting my word study life lack is introducing wrong relationships to my life grant me the grace to be empowered pray for favor pray for favor pray for favor god using men to participate in your lifting god using men to participate in your destiny outside make sure you pray if this is all we do tonight it was worth it lord the realities of the times will not catch up with me i am immune by knowledge immune by favor 
Hallelujah. Exodus 11.3 Exodus 11.3 I'm about to pray right now. Have I wasted your time tonight? Exodus 11.3 Please be patient. I want you to return with results. Media, are we still there? Are we together? Exodus 11.3 Read with me please everyone. One, two, read. And the Lord gave the people favor. Stop. So people as a, as a community can find favor. Not just an individual. And the Lord gave the people favor in the sight of the Egyptians. Uh huh. Moreover, the man Moses was very great in the land of Egypt. In the sight of Pharaoh's servants and in the sight of the people. What was responsible for his favor? The Lord gave favor. There is a relationship between favor and greatness. Truly, you can be great by favor. I have taught you that who hates you does not matter. Naysayers can go, but who likes you? You are going to pray that God will make someone like you. It's not a carnal prayer in this wicked world that God will, will make someone endear to you genuinely with no strings attached. Lift your voice and cry to heaven. Believe me, one person who finds favor, who you find favor with, can give you a house, can give you all these things you are looking for. It's not a license for laziness, but it's an advantage in the kingdom. Let's tap into it. Lord, grant me favor. God can open untold doors into profitable relationships. Lord, I'm tired of troublemakers in my life. Send helpers. Is someone praying? Lord, I'm tired of naysayers in my life. Send genuine helpers. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's save the time. Please prophetically stretch your hands here. And let's begin to declare just for one or two minutes I'm going to pray go ahead and begin to declare we decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit every request are you praying Lord they return as testimonies every praise to our God, every song of worship is to our God, every praise, every praise is to our God. One more time. Every praise is to our God, every word of worship with one accord. Every praise, every praise, In the name of Jesus, Father, we have obeyed you and we have honored you by bringing our requests. For the Bible says to be anxious in nothing, but it says in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. You said we should let our request made, be made known unto God. Father, we have brought this as representations of our concerns. Grant us rest in Jesus' name. Shout a louder Amen. As I would always say in the name of Jesus, every prayer request here is turned into a testimony. Supernatural testimonies. Most of the testimonies here require favor. May that favor work for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Any human agent stopping answers to this prayer, we clear them out of the way now. And I decree and declare. As we have spoken and as we have declared, let it be so for you. You will return back with your testimony. In Jesus' name I pray. Please lift your hands. Let me speak over your life. Thank you for your patience. 
in the name of Jesus I decree and declare this week by the power that raised Christ from the dead everything that has not been working everything that represents a disappointment I stand upon this grace and I decree and declare may it begin to work in your life hear me the same way you left your home and you came here and nothing stopped you where you need to leave and go to may nothing stop you in the name of Jesus Christ the same way when you left your home there were many roads but you knew the exact road to follow to get to this place every confusion around your life may God show you the exact thing to do now in the name of Jesus for all of you who are here when you got to the gate the gate did not close against you therefore I declare every gate that has closed against you I open it now in the name of Jesus Christ hear me there are many things you need in your life but you do not have the currency to buy them the wisdom as currency to buy the favor as currency to buy every spiritual currency you need to transact supernaturally and bring to your life results may that currency be supplied you now in the name of Jesus hear me if you have submitted anything on the desk of your helper and they have forgotten you this week may it be a week of remembrance for you I prophesy this week may it be a week of remembrance for you hallelujah you are exempted from kidnappers I say it again you and your children are exempted from kidnappers in the name of Jesus you are exempted from accidents you are exempted from the evils of the day in the name of Jesus Christ and I pray for you finally this grace called favor that can come upon your life as a mantle and turn your life around I decree and declare it is a signature grace in this ministry therefore I pray carry that grace now carry that grace now find favor with men find favor even with Egyptians find favor with systems find favor with structures in the name of Jesus be great by favor rise by favor thrive by favor in the name of Jesus Christ finally everything that has brought tears to your eyes I decree and declare your weeping comes to an end now let it become a season of laughter for you in Jesus name I pray let's keep standing may I request that we minimize movement the altar call does not take more than two minutes or three minutes please let's not distract those who are coming to Jesus as much as possible there are people here who are saying apostle I need Jesus I came for this miracle service I've seen the hand of God but I need to make my ways right two people there are those who are saying apostle I've never made this decision I am making it for the first time there are others who are saying apostle I've made this decision but I need to rededicate my life to Jesus please I'd like you to rush quickly there's no need cajoling you know that you need Jesus make your way to the front don't wait for anyone to be the first be the first to come come to Jesus koinonia celebrate them all the overflows move to your LED screens following from your homes connecting by faith here is your chance to surrender everything to Jesus please come very quickly I count one to five and I begin praying I have decided to follow Jesus no turning back no turning back I have decided to follow Jesus no turning back no turning back 
you're joining them come quickly lift your right hand high above your head thank you so much for this bold decision you're still coming please come rush very quickly rush very quickly if you come after the prayer the prayer um if you didn't pray the prayer make sure that you tell the counselor so that they'll lead you say lord jesus tonight i have heard your word i believe that you died for me i believe that you rose again for my justification right now i accept you into my heart as my savior as my lord and as my king the power of sin satan hell and the grave is broken over my life i have the life of god and from tonight and forever i go forward ever and backward never i am a child of god i am saved in jesus name please keep your hands lifted father thank you for these ones you have brought them by your spirit and they have confessed the lordship of jesus by the authority of scripture i declare your sins forgiven i decree and declare that the lord gives you a new beginning i commend you to the ministry of the word and the ministry of the holy spirit may you be established and grounded in righteousness from today you go for whatever and backward never in jesus name i pray amen god bless you for this great decision we really appreciate you for watching our videos like comment share and subscribe thank you